Pierre, you wanna come out here? Yeah. What is going on guys? My name is Paris aka Gold Sniper 9 and today I'm back with a brand new Red Dead Redemption 2 video for all of you lovely people out there. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video I'm going to be talking about the ability cards inside of Red Dead Redemption 2 online. And before we do get into today's video I do want to say thank you to all of you lovely people out there. I want to say thank you for helping us reach the goal of 2550 subscribers. And man I'm just letting you guys know we are growing really quick and we are growing rapidly and i want to say thank you to all you lovely people out there who have been supporting my channel who have been going down in the comment section below and who have been really just commenting and everything like that sharing my videos dropping likes on them etc etc redirecting your friends over to my channel and just telling them that my channel is really underrated and i just really do want to say thank you to each and every one of you guys out there who have been really doing that because it does mean a whole lot to me and just seeing the support and actually seeing you guys in the comment section which is something i never thought would happen to see because i sometimes do see the comment section be dry but i want to say thank you to everybody out there who does go down in the comment section below but enough of me rambling enough of me to my sap let's get into today's video so before we do get into talking about the best ability cards you guys must know that there are different kinds of ability cards there are some ability cards that are going to affect your dead eye not only your dead eye but there are some passive ability cards and then you guys do have your combat cards along with the recovery ability cards and your defense ability cards now we're going to be starting off with the defense ability cards now this first one i do have up on screen is called hucker down and this one is so you guys do take less damage while you guys are in cover and you guys will be able to unlock this at rank 20 now the next defense card in today's video we are going to be talking about is to fight another day you guys will be unlocking this at rank 22 and it does help you guys take less damage from bullets while sprinting i don't know if this one would be so useful but we'll go into the next one in today's video we are going to be talking about the unblinking eye which does allow your dead eye to drain slower and you guys do unlock this at rank 26 if you guys aren't rank 26 yet make sure you guys do go check out my guide i will have a little annotation if you guys do click the little top eye icon at this point in the video if you guys do click it up there you guys will be taken to a little playlist and inside this playlist there will be a video that will help you guys rank up really quick so i highly suggest you guys do click that video if you guys are not rank 26 and above and the next defense card we are going to be talking about is take the pain away which is pretty cool and i mean honestly i don't know how useful it would be but reviving someone gives you and that person less damage taken for eight seconds and you guys do unlock this at rank 34 and i don't know how useful this one would be but i mean eh, let's get into the next one the next one is a single purpose and this ability card will allow you guys to take less damage from bullets while unarmed or while pretty much using a knife or melee weapon i knew some of you guys probably aren't going to want to use this because you guys have to be rank 44 and i mean who really walks around with a knife or a machete in red dead redemption 2 online if you guys do walk around with a knife let me know down in the comment section below i mean i'm normally walking around with my bolt action rifle just in case anybody does have any slick ideas but i mean that's just me but the last defense ability card we are going to be talking about is never without one and this is so that your hat will block a headshot and it will just fall off and you guys will unlock this at rank 46 and i mean this at one point was one of my favorite cards and i mean i know there was a nerf on it recently and this is still one of my favorite cards do not get me wrong i use this all the time and before we do go any further in today's video i want to say thank you to this person right here that i do have up on screen they did suggest that i do a ability card video and i was just thinking i was just thinking to myself why not clearly this guy does have an idea and he is suggesting it so i was like why not i'll just put it out but i do want to say thank you to this low person right here for suggesting this video now with that said let's get into the recovery ability card now the next ability card we are going to be talking about is peak condition and this one will allow you guys to inflict more damage as long as you guys do have 75% of your stamina full and I mean this one isn't a horrible one to have when you guys are running around and as long as you guys do have some meat cooked or something like that and you guys will be able to replenish your stamina as quick as possible I mean you guys can be pretty much putting out a whole lot of damage but I mean personally everyone does have their own opinion but 
I do think this one is a one for the books and I highly suggest you guys to add this one on. But with that said, the next card is Eye for an Eye. Headshots restore at least a little dead eye. You guys will unlock this at rank 28 and I apologize, I'm not 100% sure if I did talk about the rank you guys will unlock peak condition at you guys do unlock that at rank 14 so if it just in case i want to edit this part in and here we go so the next one we are going to be talking about is the gift of focus and items and abilities which restore dead eye have their effects slightly improved you deal less damage and i'm not 100 sure if i'm reading that one correctly i mean you guys may have to look into that one yourself you guys do unlock that at rank 30 but i mean that's just one of the dead eyes and maybe the source i'm reading from is kind of not correct but let me know down in the comment section below if i'm wrong but by all means correct me the next one we are going to be talking about is strange medicine you regain a little health whenever you inflict damage upon otherwise and you regenerate half the rate as normal so you guys will be unlocking this at rank 32 and this one is one you guys should have i highly suggest you guys do and i highly suggest you guys do have this one because everyone in red dead redemption online does need a little bit more health every time they are inflicting some sort of damage on somebody i mean it does look like it can be helpful don't get me wrong but if it's not your thing it's not your thing but let's get into the next cold-blooded after killing an enemy you will get back a little health over next five seconds and i mean you and you guys will unlock this at rank 36 and i'm 100 percent sure about this one guys this one is not looking like it's gonna be one for the books honestly if you do ask me but that's just my opinion let me know if you guys are going to be using this that is cold blooded let me know if you guys are going to be using cold blooded and down in the comment section below but with that said let's talk about the combat ability cards now listen here guys the horseman ability card you guys will be dealing a little bit more damage while you guys are on horseback you guys do unlock this at rank 10 now listen here guys this this card right here is absolute trash do not use this card i mean i understand you guys do get it at rank 10 but listen here how many times are you guys gonna be in a pvp match and you guys be like hmm let me just call my horse first so i can inflict a little bit more damage no that is not the wave guys do not use this ability card but like i said before this is my opinion if you guys do use this let me know down in the comment section below now this next ability card we are going to be talking about in today's video does allow you guys to deal a little bit more damage while you guys are getting closer to death and you guys will unlock this at rank 16 do not get me wrong this is a good card to have don't get me wrong you guys could use this to your full advantage if you guys are playing in some sort of game mode or something like that but this isn't one i'm actually going to be recommending but next one we are going to be talking about is the short game and this one will allow you to deal more damage to targets closer to you but less when they are further away now you guys do unlock this at rank 36 if you guys do want my personal opinion this one is not one i would recommend 100 percent only because when you guys are playing some game modes people tend to be a little bit further than they are when they are up close and i mean look you guys could deal just a perfect amount of damage if you guys are using the split point ammo and it is very accurate so i mean one shot to the head with the split point ammo they're pretty much done with so that's if you guys are using the bolt action rifle or if you guys are using some of the repeaters don't get me wrong the evans repeater might be my favorite repeater just because it does hold 26 whole bullets and i mean with the split point ammo that's a lot of accuracy and i mean look listen to me here. listen to guys 26 bullets you can do a lot with 26 bullets but like i said it's my opinion but let me know what your opinion is down in the comment section below. The next ability card we are going to be talking about is Hangman. The lasso chokes enemies, dealing damage for every second they are lassoed. You guys do unlock this at rank 42. And I mean, look, if you guys are lassoing people all the time in Red Dead Redemption 2 Online, which don't get me wrong, it's fun. It's beyond fun, honestly, if you do ask me. But if that's your thing, I suggest you guys do put this on. But honestly, I don't use this all the time. So, I mean, I might use it when I'm playing with some of my friends or something like that but i don't recommend you guys do go out of your way and upgrade this fully and just buy it if you guys are going to buy it and you guys do have unlimited money from just seeing some of my money glitches and stuff like that that i do upload on the channel you guys can't just buy it if you guys have the money for it but 
I don't recommend it off the top of my head. And the next ability card we are going to be talking about in today's video is Winning Streak. Each conservative shot on the same target does a little bit more damage every time. Now, that is not one you guys do want to sleep on. I highly suggest you guys do have Winning Streak on. You guys do unlock this at rank 48, so stop playing around and not having any ability cards on. Make sure you guys do get that ability card. Do not sleep on that one because Winning Streak is amazing for those annoying griefers that do tend to try and mess up your games. Now, the last section of ability cards we are going to be talking about, we are going to be talking about the Deadeye ability cards. Now, listen here, guys. Do not get me wrong. There are only six of them, so let's get straight into them. The first one is a moment to recuperate. Now, while a Deadeye is active, you will regenerate health while taking any damage will cancel Deadeye. Now, listen here. That one is, you guys, not good. That's not good whatsoever. Listen, if you love yourself, you wouldn't use that. You guys would honestly take Painted Black and use that. Now, listen here. Now, Painted Black is an amazing ability card. While in Deadeye, you guys can paint targets onto enemies and fire your weapon and shoot all marked targets. And then you guys will be able to fire your weapon and shoot all marked targets. And each shot does strain your Deadeye just a little bit, just to let you guys know. Now, listen here. Now, another ability card that does affect your Deadeye is Focus Fire. Now, for this one, while Deadeye is active, you and your teammates deal more damage. If more than one of you of your teammates do have this ability card, the effects do not stack. Now, listen here, guys. Honestly, you don't know how many times you guys are going to be in a, a full-on combat situation where you guys can rely on your friends. So, this one, I do not recommend for you guys to use. I do recommend you guys use Painted Black inside of this slot. But if you guys aren't going to use Painted Black, you guys could also use Slow and Steady. Now, for this one, while Deadeye is active, you take less damage. Damage and headshots do not kill you outright you cannot run or sprint now you guys do unlock this one at rank 24 if you guys do ask me this one is pretty good but I do not like the fact that you guys cannot run or sprint but I do like it because you guys will not be killed outright by headshots and that's a pretty big thing inside of Red Dead Redemption Online. You guys would be surprised how many times you guys do go inside of a, a showdown series and then you guys do tend to get shot inside of the head. Now the next ability card we are going to be talking about is quite an inspiration. Now for this one, while Deadeye is active, you and your allies regenerate health. Like the other one, if more than one of your teammates do have this ability, the effects do not stack and you guys will unlock this ability card at rank 44. Now look, this isn't one of the best ability cards and I mean I know that the dead eye slots that were slacking and some of the ability cards but there was this last one that i do recommend all of you guys do buy just for when you guys are inside of those pvp moments or when you guys are dealing with some grief first and you guys do need an upper hand now this last ability card i am going to be talking about is slippery bastard while dead eye is active enemy players cannot lock onto you you cannot lock on to them other enemies are less accurate when shooting at you the rate your dead eye decreases is dramatically increased and you guys do unlock this at rank 50 now listen here i do recommend you guys do use this one because this one is amazing even though you can't lock onto your target you guys can pop out of dead eye and you guys can pop right back into it if you guys did want to and you guys are able to kill as many people as you guys do want to with this if you guys do know how to use this correctly i highly recommend you guys do take care of those griefers or any of those people who are in those pvp matches who are just really annoying i recommend you guys do take care of them with this ability card now with that said unfortunately that is all the time i do have for today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video so if you guys do want to see more videos like this in the future make sure you guys do drop a like on today's video i will be down in the comment section below let me know what ability cards you guys do use in today's video i did just want to go over the ability card and just let you guys know what kinds of there are i will have a video depending on the response i do get on this video if you guys do like this video or not i will have a video coming out with the top five ability cards that i do recommend but i did give you guys a little bit of insight on what ones i do recommend today but i will go into more depth and more details in the next video if you guys do want me to but that's all up to how many likes we get on this video for going for in today's video we are just going to go for at least seven likes that's all we're going to do we're bringing this back guys like goals yeah you know you know 2016 style guys we're bringing this shit back so all i recommend is we just get you know six likes 
fuck it we're dropping it low we're not even going to seven we're going to six we're going to six likes on today's video if we can get six likes on today's video i will drop another video with me saying my top five best recommended ability cards but with that said enough of my energy it's been your boy paris aka gold sniper nine i will see you guys in the next video peace